Okay, okay you're ready for the uh, questions from the Google. Uh, with churches spending millions of dollars for political campaigns, as well as vast and expensive real estate, why should they be exempt from taxes? They shouldn't. They shouldn't? Really? Wow. No. I go to, I go to a church at uh, 53rd and 5th Avenue. It's the most expensive block of real estate, arguably, right. in the country. We should pay taxes. No comment? No comment. <laughs> uh, we're in the that, 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 gonna... that, that 58 percent might go. Right. I think, I think it should depend on the philanthropic nature of the organization, right? So if, it's, if, it, if, if they can show that what it is that they're doing is actually a philanthropic act, um, I think that then they should be exempt. If they cannot, then they should have to pay the taxes. Well, there's usually a philanthropic aspect to, to religious groups. If but the money is may... going into gold for the front of the, the aisle, and the th I mean, there should be, it's like a luxury tax. There should be like a church luxury tax. But this, go this goes to your point where the Establishment Clause, this is a hangover from the days when we had established churches and we would have to pay clerical salaries. If you were, no matter what you believed or anything at all, you would pay taxes in Virginia. Uh, Massachusetts was actually the last state to disestablish, who knew, uh, in 1833. But this is a holdover from that, in which uh, that you would get a special financial break. So but, but, they, stop. but they are selling a product. They're just selling an invisible product. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's, it's, only, open, it. and it's only open an hour a week. I mean, you know. So. Right. <laughs> No, if you want to buy an invisible product, I believe that should be your right. I just don't know why. That may be the newspaper business. <laughs> <laughs> right. 